everyone, this is Denise at Something Beautiful Handcrafts. And at the moment, I'm going to put the eyelets into the corset. I'm using the pattern from Thimbles and Acorns. It's the Victorian Unmentionables pattern for the 18-inch doll corset. And maybe at some point I'll show you a whole video of assembling it as soon as I figure out how to put the back together as instructed. I still haven't quite figured out the back instructions. Uh, so I'm putting the eyelets in. Now, I do have a metal eyelet setter, which, by the way, is actually made by Provocraft. Um, you can see how dusty and beat up this is. I got this at, uh, it was a Kids in Need, which is an organization that gives out items to teachers to use in their classrooms. So uh, it's one of the few things I have left from my teaching. I left all that junk when I moved the other year. Anyway, I never act actually used it. I really couldn't get the hang of setting the eyelids. They just never seemed to set right for me. I don't know what it was. And so uh, it just, I've tried it every once in a while and then just was like, nah. And uh, it occurred to me as I was making these corsets that the eyelet said it would work perfect for making the holes. I did try to set these uh, eyelets in here, but once again, this didn't quite work out so well. So I decided to hand sew eyelets. I'm not saying that if you're making this corset, you're gonna have to hand sew eyelets because there are lots of people who use the metal eyelets. I just didn't like them. Uh, and I thought hand sewing eyelets was going to be tedious, but it was not as bad as I thought. And I actually enjoyed it. Now, when it comes to people size corsets, I don't know if I'm going to hand sew the eyelets. And you know what? I probably will. There'll be a whole lot more eyelets, but like I said, I enjoyed it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put this in here and I am using the paper as the guideline. I'm thinking this really should probably stick better than it does, but this is old and not very used. So, you know, if you don't use things sometimes when they get old. Okay, so here we go. I also discovered that although this mat has seen better days, I've had it for at least 10 years, I think, um, that if I drive the eyelet setter through without the pad, it will cut holes in, in the pad. I really don't want to do that because uh, this thing will last me many more years to come. I'm not in a rush to get another one. So I got to put the pad down. It's wise. I use the corset pattern piece to show me where the holes need to be. Looks like that one is going to be where the lace is. I wonder if I want to put it, you know, I'm going to put it under the lace. Yep. Okay. Now I'm doing this before I put my boning channels. I'm going to put the boning channels around. Let's see if that's right. I'm going to put the boning channels around the holes. And I'm making the holes a little smaller. The eyelet holes a little smaller than these holes because they will stretch out. So you just give this a nice press. And it will. See, I told you it pops off a little, but it'll cut through the fabric. There it goes. You just have to give it a little work. Oh, 
go. Kind of pops out. But... That one's just that last. I take the paper off. Okay, there we go. Now I'm there. In there, nice and clean. I'm going to do the other one. Then I'm going to show you how to stitch one of the eyelets. Then I'm going to put the boning channels in. Okay, so there may be a right way. In the wrong way to sew an eyelet and it may even be possible that I can get this paint off of my board but neither one of those are really important points right now what I'm just going to show you is how I make the eyelets I've seen people do overhand and underhand and I don't know I'm going to pick this one in the middle so it'll be easy for you to see okay so first of all I've got my thread it is doubled and it is knotted at the bottom and I'm going to put it through here I think that might be far enough out and what I'm trying to do is decide how far out I actually need to put this needle to make the make good eyelets that looks about right okay so I put it through the bottom and I'm drawing it up and then I'm reaching inside and I'm going to put it as close to the first stitch as I can, which most of the time is pretty close. And in my case, I'm moving in a counterclockwise direction, getting it as close to the left side and the right height of the thread I just sent through. And sometimes I don't get it right and I have to make a second pass, but that is okay. Sometimes I have to poke around a bit. And I tell you, it's certainly much easier to do this if you are not looking into the camera. And of course, the higher quality thread you have, the better all of this is. Okay, I think you're starting to get the idea. Let me see. That looks better from that angle. And I'm just going all the way around till I get to the end. When I get to the end, I just slip it underneath the beginning, the little row that's being made under there. I don't uh, do it more than once. I'm thinking that maybe if I was making a pair of stays for, or a corset for myself, that's kind of what it looks like underneath. If I was doing it for myself, I might go twice around because it's going to actually bear the weight of a person pulling. But for the doll, I mean, she's not going to be pulling. And to be honest, neither am I. I do cinch it, yes. So there actually is some real life cinching going on to put this onto her. 
but she's not tight lacing and she's not doing any movement so there's no stress that the eyelet needs to uh, bear I'm pretty uh, obsessive when it comes to putting it in the right spot. So I'll poke around a bit if I have to, to get it in that spot. This thread right here is uh, Crayola thread. And I actually got it when uh, local Pat Catans was closing. It was a color set I thought was cool because normally I don't sew with colors. It's just black, white, maybe a gray. So I was like, cool, I'm going to have all these colors. And this is like the worst thread ever. I mean, dollar store thread was better than this. Sorry, Crayola. But at any rate, I have it, so I'm using it. Okay, so basically, I'm coming to an end. And I've done pretty good, except for over here is a little short. That's the pitfalls of looking into a camera while you're doing things. The camera is right above me, and so if I'm looking at the cloth, I can't guarantee that the camera's in the shot. And if I'm looking at through the camera lens, I'm not really looking at the cloth. It's one of the things you kind of have to get used to. I used to be able to, you know, look through a microscope and move things around. I've kind of gotten away from that. And this is a lot like looking through a microscope and, and it's moving a slide around. Okay, we are on the whole stretch. I think that's it. Well, maybe like one more. Okay, that's not so bad. Let me turn it around. I actually think it looks better from this side. And I just run this under. Okay, and then it can be snipped. Okay, so there is the corset, uh, the eyelet for the corset. Now, the corsets, you know, I really just enjoy corsets. This may seem like a lot of work uh, for some people. So it's, since I enjoy making them so much, I'll probably make a few and put them in my Etsy shop. I, th I think with a lot of things that are handmade and that I make, it's important to know that um, these are not machine made. So the eyelets, and you know what? They actually could be, but for me, they really aren't. Um, that's, that's close enough for me. I don't, it doesn't really need to be like a super perfect circle. And if I took my time, I really could. And so, um, if people are expecting like a super perfect, totally 
100% symmetrical circle. They might be a little disappointed. They might not. I guess it just depends on the day for me. Uh, but it's well constructed and it will most certainly hold up. Ah, oh, it's just my little spiel. Okay, so soon I will have pictures on the completed core set. Uh, actually, this one is a little plainer than the other two I've done so far. Uh, if you can call it that, it's just a solid color and the other ones are patterns. But it's really cool and this one has lace on it. I'm going to go ahead and draw the boning channels and get it completed. And then you'll probably see a completed picture of this corset when I finish the outfit that for the doll that it goes with or on my Instagram account. Thank you for watching. You all have a great day.